Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Ashley and I have been cloth diapering my son Grayson for about six months now. In today's video, we are going to be doing a pros and cons list of all-in-one diapers and pocket diapers. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, let's talk about the all-in-one diaper first. This is the brand Thirsties. This is their Stay Dry Natural All-in-One Diaper. This retails for $28, which is a pretty hefty price tag for a diaper. Um, but we're gonna talk about the pros first and I'm gonna explain why you're paying so much for the diaper. Okay, so this is a one size diaper. It's designed to fit um, from ish birth till ish potty training. Um, depends on your baby. So you open up the all-in-one diaper and you have absorbency sewn in, okay? If the absorbency snaps in, that's not an all-in-one diaper. I don't wanna go off on a tangent, but if it snaps in, that's an all-in-two diaper, not an all-in-one diaper, okay? So the all-in-one diapers have absorbency sewn in. This one in particular has the two flaps. So you're paying for the convenience and you're paying extra for absorbency being included in your diaper. Um, and they really are convenient, guys. So with, with all-in-one diapers, I think the biggest pro of them is that they're just convenient. So if you're behind on laundry and maybe you have a majority pocket diapers, but you don't have time to sit down and stuff all of the diapers, this is great because it's ready to go. You literally don't have to do anything else. It's just ready to go. They are less work too. Um, with pocket diapers, I'll talk about that in a little bit, you have to stuff the absorbency in. Again, this is ready to go. Um, you don't have to pull out the inserts when you're throwing them into the wash and you don't have to put the inserts back in once they're dry. It is just ready to go. Um, so those are my main pros for all-in-one diapers. Let's talk about the cons. Number one con is the cost. They are going to cost more. It doesn't matter what brand you buy, they are absolutely going to cost more because you're paying for the absorbency and the convenience. Um, I always do recommend though that you do have a couple in your stash just because they're convenient and they're great in a pinch. Um, another con is that they do take longer to dry. Really not a big deal. Um, I do um, dry mine in the dryer. Um, my shells for my pocket diapers I hang to dry, um, but these just take so long to dry. I do throw them in the dryer, which is going to decrease the life of the diaper. Um, they're not gonna last quite as long because I'm drying them. Um, the next con is the absorbency. This diaper in particular is pretty dang good. It's pretty solid. I do have a heavy wetter boy, um, so he pees a lot. Um, most all-in-one diapers you're going to have to add absorbency to if you have a heavy wetter baby or if they're going to be wearing the diaper for a longer period of time, you will have to put extra absorbency in there. Um, this diaper is usually fine because it has two flaps. Um, I do have other diapers that are all in ones that just have one flap. And so I'll lift up the flap and I'll put a hemp insert here um, for extra absorbency. So do keep that in mind, that's a big factor. The next con is that it's harder to get the poop out. And I keep opening the diaper, I'm sorry. Um, but because you have these flaps here, um, poop is gonna get caught in here, it's gonna get caught in here. It's just harder to clean. If you have a uh, diaper sprayer, which I would recommend, it's going to be easier to get out um, than if you do the Duncan Swish method like I currently do. Um, poop's gonna get caught in the gussets regardless and that's gonna be an area that's kind of hard to get out, but with the flaps of an all-in-one, it's just harder to get out. Okay, and really the last con with the all-in-one diaper is you're not gonna get as cute of prints. You do have cute prints. Absolutely, um, but because pocket diapers are usually easier to manufacture, you're gonna get a wider variety of prints. You're gonna get the Disney prints, you're gonna get the Harry Potter prints, you're gonna get the office prints, you name it. Um, pop culture prints are very popular 
right? With um, pocket diapers, you're not going to get that as much with your all-in-one diapers. Um, a lot of the people who manufacture, you know, really cool, cool cute prints are um, work-at-home mom brands, Etsy brands, um, smaller brands, and so it's easier for them to manufacture a pocket diaper. So those are the pros and cons of the all-in-one diaper. Okay guys, now we are going to talk about the pocket diaper. This is my personal favorite type of diaper um, because I'm a sucker for prints. So let's go ahead and talk about this diaper. This is a pocket diaper from the brand Happy Behinds. It's a Harry Potter diaper, how cute is that? This diaper is about eight dollars and that's pretty common for your pocket diapers to be around that eight ish dollar mark now with pocket diapers you can get a lot of sets of them so like nora's nursery alva baby mama koala um so many different brands will sell a set of six for 39.99 and oftentimes they actually do come with an insert um, so my number one pro is the cost so they're going to be much more cost effective if you're building your whole stash you can build a stash for much cheaper than an all-in-one diaper my absolute favorite thing about pocket diapers is the prints. So as I kind of alluded to before, they're much easier to manufacture. So you're going to get a wider variety of prints because more people are going to be making pocket diapers. So if you are a sucker for prints, it's going to be a pocket diaper. You're probably going to go with pocket diapers for a majority of your stash because they do have a much wider variety of prints. I am going to be doing a video here on my channel talking about my favorite brands to buy specifically for the prints. Um, I'm waiting for some more diapers to come in the mail. I've done a couple of pre-orders, um, so I'm waiting for those to come in the mail so I can talk about those. Um, so prints, huge pro is they're adorable. Uh, another pro is that they're customizable. So with pocket diapers, this is a one size diaper by the way, so it's designed again to fit newborn-ish to 35 pounds-ish. Um, with a pocket diaper, you open it up and it's flat. There's really nothing in there. Um, no flaps, no anything. Um, a big pro is that it's easier to put on for caregivers. For whatever reason, um, putting on cloth diapers is confusing to people. So definitely make sure that you explain and you demonstrate how to put a diaper on um, baby if somebody's going to be watching baby. I actually left Grayson with my brother and my sister-in-law and I did not show them for some reason how to put a diaper on him. Um, and they put it on backwards. <laughs> so make sure you explain how to put the diaper on. It was so freaking hilarious. I'm impressed. I'm so impressed because gosh, that must've been really challenging. Uh, but they put the snaps on the back and like this was the front. And with Grayson, like he hates getting his diaper changed. So he's really squirmy anyway. Kudos to them for getting that diaper on that child backwards. Um, anyway, so what I was talking about um, is that they're customizable. So with pocket diapers, you have the opening in the back here, and that's where you stuff your absorbency. So um, I have a pre-fold in here with a hemp insert, um, but you can literally choose whatever you want to stuff in there. Um, if you want something that's very inexpensive, flower sack towels are very common. You can get a pack of them for very cheap and they're okay for their cotton uh, for absorbency, but you've got hemp, you've got microfiber, you've got bamboo, you've got bamboo charcoal, so many different types of inserts. You can put one insert in there, you can put two, whatever you want can go in this diaper. If you've got a, a heavy wetter baby, you can put more absorbency. If you've got a light wetter, less absorbency. It's customizable for what you need and that is so nice. Kind of already alluded to this, it's easier for the caregiver to put on, it's a big pro. Um, the next pro is that it's just easier to get the poop out. So because we don't have any pockets or anything like that, it's just flat, it's easy to spray off the poop or you know, swish out the poop. Um, with diapers, they're gonna get, the poop's gonna get cut, caught in the gussets, so you'll need to be careful of that when you're washing them out, um, but um, it's easier to get the poops out than an all-in-one. 
Okay, let's talk about the cons of the pocket diaper because although I love pocket diapers, there are some things that I don't enjoy about them. They are going to be more work, you guys. So obviously you have to stuff the absorbency in the pocket. So when you're done with your laundry, you've got to put the absorbency back into the diaper and that does take time. On the flip side, when you're doing laundry, you have to pull the absorbency out to wash them. Um, most diapers, most pocket diapers, have a really tight elastic opening in the back. There are some like Mama Koala um, that have a nice wide opening and the um, inserts can agitate out on their own in the wash. Um, but most of my diapers do have the tight elastics in the back. So those inserts are not going to agitate out on their own. You have to pull them out, which is it's kind of gross. So it does kind of suck. Whereas the all-in-one, you literally just toss it into the wash. It's ready to go. Um, so it's going to be more work in that sense. Um, the only other con that I could think of was that um, you have to purchase the insert separately, which again, it could be a pro or a con. I kind of think it's more of a pro because you get a buy things like inserts that are more customizable to you, you get to buy the inserts that you want. Um, but most of pocket diapers are going to come without inserts. You have, will have to buy those separately. So that's an additional cost. Now I did say this earlier, some brands, if you buy them in a set, will come with inserts. Some will, some won't. So just pay attention to that when you're purchasing um, your pocket diapers. As a general rule of thumb, uh, I always tell people to buy a couple all-in-one diapers. They're more expensive, but they are really just so convenient. Um, I, I probably wouldn't build my whole stash with these just because they're so expensive and because they don't have the best prints. Um, get a couple all-in-ones, but I would build my stash primarily out of pocket diapers. Um, that's just my recommendation. Okay, that's all I've got to talk about today. Um, thank you guys so much for sticking around. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I love posting cloth diapering videos, so uh, I would love to have you as part of my YouTube channel family. All right, that's all I've got. Thank you guys and have a great day. Bye.